Moin, I'm Catherine and I'm back in bed with the press no more. I'm so happy. It's we just so um, fun. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's not that long ago. We met at the Reaper Barn Festival, actually in the same hostel at today, the Pyjama yeah, Park. Yeah, not the same bed though. Not the same bed though, no. you can. I'm going to bed. link the interview and we also did a fun book guessing game in this corner. And you can check it out there. And today, I'm so happy we are going to talk about Paper Towns. Paper Towns, what a great title. By John Green. What a fantastic, isn't it? I wish I stole that title before he wrote the book. Oh, you can still name still a song it? Can Paper I? Town. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I can. You can. Don't sue me, okay? No, don't do it, John Green. No, he won't. I'm, I'm just saying it now, he won't. Good. Oh, yes, please. I'm very much looking forward to that song. Yes. Watch out, it's coming soon. It's coming soon. <laughs> Can you like summarize the story in one sentence, very shortly, what's happening in this novel? Boy likes girl. <laughs> Boy likes girl, yes. And what was the <laughs> novel, no, that's, I mean, that yeah. summarizes in one sentence. Pretty much every book ever written, <laughs> but you know, this as yeah, well. This as well. <laughs> um, what was it for you on a personal level? Like, what did you take out of the novel? First of all, I, I just love, like, the characters yeah. as, like, they're so nerdy. Well, like, the main character, Quentin, is just, like, he's just me when I was at high school. Just, like, super really? weird and quirky and just never talked to any of the popular kids. And and, and the, the whole, you know, moral of the story as well, just, I don't know, the way you, you can't just idolize everyone and mm -hmm. everything. And, yeah. It's quite nice, and yeah. I, that's what I got out of it. Yeah, yeah. very nice. And the, one of the questions would have been, did you identify with the main character? So I yes, guess. <laughs> I did identify with the main character yeah. a lot. A lot. That's. Really I don't nice. feel like him, and I, I don't think I would act like he did yeah. or does, but on many levels, I think he's, and I think a lot of people do, you yeah. know, at, at some point in their life feel like the the person who doesn't accomplish enough and, and doesn't take enough space and, and like he does in the book. Yeah. But I think what I really loved about this novel is that John Green gives him the freedom to say, I accept the, I accept that about myself. I accept that about myself that I'm not the mo most um, crazy person yeah. and um, that I'm sort of boring and that I like to do boring things and that I'm like contempt with my friends and everything and there's that, nothing wrong with exactly, that exactly that not everybody has to be extraordinary and that's throughout the book as well yeah. it's just it's a very accepting book in a way yeah. it's just be yourself and that's always good enough yeah no matter if you're the crazy person who just like I, like margot in the book is just like does everything that she wants to do at any given time yeah. she's very selfish in a way and at any cost yeah yeah and at yeah. any cost whatever it is and and the, that as well the the, um, the difference between those yeah. two characters is very very big but in a way as you say that that you can be whoever you want is very good and important yeah. in, a, in a youth novel i think yeah i love that was there anything else that you really liked about the novel I think that's my favorite part, you know, the the, the very accepting part of mm -hmm. the whole book, um, and the characters. I love the characters. Yeah, and the characters, then, fantastic. Yeah, 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 it's so good. And the, um, not to go too specific or anything, but the the Sea World break. Yes. In, I love that part. Yeah. Where they just, it's just a dance, and it's it's just I don't know. It feels very re revealing, relieving. And yeah. it comes. Yeah. And yeah, I like that. Yeah. There are a few of adventures in this novel. Very, very it's it's a very weird book. It's <laughs> there's a lot of weird shit going on, but it's it's just an adventure. Yeah. And it's really, really good. John Green is amazing. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. I just I had listened to this two times as an audiobook and I <coughs> just read it for the first time this weekend for this book talk and I just realized again how brilliant he is. Yeah, and he's, like, he's... and you, and that you actually get more out of those novels if you if you actually read them sometimes. Like I've the never language. heard of the audiobook, but yeah. yeah, 
And the Wii just always uses her full name. Yes, that's fantastic. Margot Roth Spiegelman. And it's such Margot a weird, Roth weird, Spiegelman. like, thing to do. And yeah. it's, it's, I still don't quite get why, but it I gets think, a very, yeah. it kind of idolizes her in exactly. the book. Yes, but like I think that's exactly the reason. Ex yeah. yeah. And it's such a good way, like, for him just to make us idolize her as well, yes. not just the main character idolizing her. Yeah. It's you. It she becomes kind of a mythical person, and and she is definitely in yeah. the book. It's really yeah. But I love that she's also going to be like demystified, and um, that he plays a lot with identity. Um, mm. I love that very very much. Um, there's a German novel called um, Stiller. The English title is I'm Not Stiller by Max Frisch. Um, totally different story. But the the main thing. Is it how not boy you... like her? No. No, no, but in a way it actually yeah, is. It actually it is. is. In a way it actually is. Um, but it's it's also about like how you get fixed on this one personality thing and how this like also puts you in a cage. What's happening to Margot in this novel mm. that she like has to break out of this idealized person she has uh, become. Mm. Um, and I also very much love this about the novel. Was there anything that annoyed you? Oh, um, in, I don't know the, I, I can't think of anything that annoyed me. Not, uh, did anything annoy you? Not really. I, we were just talking before we started filming that what annoyed me in the movie is that in the novel Margot is described as like not being totally skinny. She's not described as being She's actually not. overweight. But, but that with the curves and everything, and yeah, I mean, I don't know her name, but the actress who plays Margot in the movie, she's quite thin. She's like not what Hollywood. I. She's just not what I expect. Uh, someone because I think what Jim Green also is trying to do is like giving positive body images, and he more or less describes the bitchy girls in the novel as very thin so he's he's trying to do the opposite i think yeah, he's trying to, to get like the very thin novels to be a little bit more bitchy back, back to the, than, like, like the positive body part image. of the whole yeah. youth book so i think this is something that annoyed me about the movie Other the movie things. has a lot of things that's kind yeah. of off well yeah. that's everybody does that when you're filmatizing a book yeah like there's a lot of differences but i don't, I don't know if i like the movie better but i really love the casting like yes, except uh, the yeah, yeah. of course my, I, I also I, I still loved her she she's perfect she's so she, good she's so good but yeah and also that uh, quentin guy i don't remember his name yeah, the actor it's but just perfect yeah. perfect casting i uh, we have we have to admit. i think we can skip the question were there women in the novel because we already established that there are there women are a couple in the novel and they're, they're very diverse as well. There's like yeah. Margot, who's, who's like the rebel and then just does whatever she wants. And then there's like the just follow whatever is cool, skinny, bitchy girls. Yeah. And the cool band girl. But although she's bigger yeah. in the movie than in the novel. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, going there, a big part of the novel is like. Um, Quentin's the main characters, two best male best friends. Um, they want to go. One of them desperately wants to go to the prom, and the other one is going to prom with his mm, girlfriend. Yeah. And what I was um, kind of asking myself is, do you have proms in Norway, like American movie proms? Um, more and more because okay. of American movies, okay. kind of. Um, so like but with not, dates not, and with limousines no, and hotel well, rooms? Yes, limousines, definitely. Really? Not hotel rooms, yeah, because we're in Norway and people just like oil money. Um, okay. But but not with like hotel rooms and not necessarily with dates. Okay. Not when I was in prom. I went to prom. Yeah, that, was, that would have been my next question. I, I think I only went because I was playing at my prom, actually. You, you did? I did. Oh, no, that's with, nice. with a friend of mine. And okay. I remember we smuggled in, uh, because we went before like the guards came and the parents. Yeah. So we smuggled in, I'm sorry, mom and dad, like uh, <laughs> alcohol in our like guitar cases and stuff. <laughs> So that's the only reason I was popular at prom, because I had alcohol and nobody else did. 
it's kind of a sad thing, but yeah. It was fun. It was, I don't know. And you played. I, I, remember, I, I mean, that must, that, that must must have been a bit, a little bit of a popular factor. Yeah. Play, yeah, I think so. But I was I was really not popular at all in yeah. my high school, and and maybe that made me a little bit more popular. But then again, I had like a red suit on. I looked super stupid. No, oh, we want to see pictures. Do you? Have pictures? I'll send you a picture. Please. I'll send you. Oh, Are you you're going, going to post? You're going this. to post one on Instagram. Okay, for everyone okay, to see. I'll post You will tag me. I regret doing this. And you will post, yes, please. <sighs> okay, I'll do when it. When are you back in Norway? Five days? Six days? In, yeah, Saturday. So that's yes, five, Saturday. Five, Watch out. Well, if I have this online till Saturday, I, I'll put this online. I'll put this online till Saturday. And every, we, we all are going to want to I'll see. do it on Saturday. Yes, I'm going to put this online on Saturday and you are going to okay, post the picture. Okay, I promise. Yes. When this comes out, I'll yes. post the picture. I'm going to regret this. <laughs> no, yeah. Did you ever go on a road trip? Because also this novel and what I love about this novel, I think... Let's, let's answer the question first. The question yeah. is, did you ever go on a road trip with friends? Not the super American way they do it here where it's like but yes I have been driving with friends but not like for a long time we didn't really have a destination but I love being on a road trip like it, you just feel so free you yes. just have a car and you can go wherever you want and you can stop wherever you want to see the scenery or buy snacks or whatever yeah. it's a very very nice feeling like, because this is like one of my favorite scenes of they have a time limit to get somewhere in the novel um, and Quentin with his friends and then there's this scene they like had to pl plan out how they will get there in time and so Radar, his best friend, mapped out how long they could stop, how often they could mm. stop and they like have to plan the whole stop at the gas station yeah with like totally the list through, like of what who's they're going to buy and this is such a strong moment <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. i love this so much and when they buy the wrong well the, the, what's, buy the, what's, what's the fourth what's the fourth food group oh crackers and then of course the fourth food group would have been vegetables and um jesus i, I don't mean what's obst in english fruits thank fruits. you fruits i know german so, and that's oh lovely um, yeah, that's so good one last question. You already mentioned mentioned the um, sea, sea world, the sea uh, world break in. It's like I, th yeah. I think we're not spoiling too much if we say that there is a scene at the beginning of the movie where Quentin, where Margot like convinces Quentin to go on a crazy adventure with her. And they yeah, break they do a lot of weird, stuff. stupid, <laughs> funny stuff. stuff but... One of them, they break into a sea yeah. world. Did you ever do something like that, like break into something at night that was closed? Again, mom and dad. <laughs> I'm never gonna show this to them. Um, <laughs> I think your dad will find it on. Oh, uh, he definitely. He's my biggest fan. He finds everything. He's so sweet. Yes. Yeah. Did I break into something? Like even. I um, wow. I I was never that bad. I think. Like swimming pools or something that were closed at night, like open swimming pools. Or well, something. yeah. Okay. Or like maybe playgrounds that should be. Yeah, I've done stuff like, but never as cool as Sea not World. Not Sea World. No, I wish I did not. that. Oh. You still can. But we're not. We're not. We're not. We're, 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 we're not. We're not. We're not. And we're not. We're, we're not trying to say everyone that. Everywhere. Do do not please do do. Jeez, what are we doing here? Um, but I think it's if abide the law. <laughs> No, but is like that's so innocent. Yeah, I got, it is. Like totally. as long as you don't like wreck stuff and, yeah. and like steal animals or whatever. Yes, yes. As long as you, you know, do no harm. I don't know. It's, yeah. it's still, still, fine. still, we're not, we're not, we're not telling everyone, uh, anyone to do anything, do we? No. Um. <laughs> nope. Like it's not wrong to break the law a little bit. I think it depends what you're doing, exactly. of course. Ex ex exactly. Exactly. But if it's innocent and not harming anyone, then why I'm not? just oh, there were so many little things, and we're just we're just going to say now again. Can you hold up the novel again? Do read Paper Towns by John Green because it's such a fantastic. I I was going I like took a lot of notes because I don't like to write in my books because there were so many wonderful small things 
Yeah, um, there's a lot of good details in this, and there's also a good movie. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, one thing that I, that I also forgot was like there's one one scene where I think someone is like forcing like the bullies are forcing Quentin to say he's a faggot and then there's it's just a small part in the novel but it's like that Quentin explains that he doesn't think that um you should call someone a faggot but on the other hand that being gay is nothing to be used as a curse word or anything yeah. and I love that that John Green also is trying to to get things like this even if it's just in a just in one sentence somewhere in the novel it's just that makes it a really good youth novel, yeah. which I would say it definitely yeah. is. But it doesn't mean you can't enjoy it as an adult either. Exactly. But it's very... It just accepts everyone, as we've yes. been talking about. It's very just like... And it advocates acceptance. With, it advocates. It definitely. actually... Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And it's in it not like a pushy way. Yeah. Not like he's not trying to make a huge deal out of it, but it just comes so natural yeah. and in small bits and pieces, yeah. which is great. Okay, once again, jump in, paper towns. And do you remember the last time we're going to do this and we're going to say, don't forget. Don't forget. Support. Support. Your. Your. Local. Local. Book. Book. Dealer. Dealer. Dead. Thank you so much. Bye. Moin, I'm Catherine and I'm in bed with the Fresno. Hi. Hi, it's nice good to meet you. Be with you. Thank you. Um, we were at the Rainbow Bar Festival. Yeah. Yeah, exciting. And the perfect question to that is what happened last night?